Well, the wife wanted to play the Oregon Trail, and I did not have this on my Retro Pie Raspberry Pie emulation build. So I decided to put it on. I ran into a couple small problems, so I thought I'd share with you how I got it on and working. Uh, the Oregon Trail is a game that was developed in 1971. We all should remember this from our childhood days. It was produced by the Minnesota Educational Computi Computing Consortium in 1974. And it appar apparently has a bunch of different variations to this game. I'm not familiar with it too much. I just remember the basic game or one of the originals, at least, uh, back in the 80s. And we're going to play an early version of this game. Um, and I will show you the ROM and how I got it on the Raspberry Pi and my Retro Pi build. Taking a look at the ROM, this is what you're going to want to look for, or at least one of the ROMs available. Now, I also have a ROM that said 1990, and there were some other ROMs out there. I figure they're just variations of the game, but I really didn't test them out. You're going to want to take that ROM, and you're going to want to drag it over into your PC folder in your main ROMs folder. So the ROMs PC folder, and it will be a zip file. And you can see I have a couple games right here are variations of the Oregon Trail. Once those games are on your RetroPie build, you will go into the MS-DOS menu and you will see those games listed in that menu. Now, the system's going to try and launch DOSBox and that will be your default emulator. You can see there I had a few on. I chose the LR DOSBox emulator, which is the LibRetro version. And you see, you get this prompt, you know, the C prompt. You may have to mount a drive and then type in the executable. We don't want to do all that. I'm going to show you an easier way. We're going to use an emulator called LR DOSBox Pure. And you'll see it here. I select that one, LR DOSBox Pure. And when I open it, I get a better menu and an easier way to launch the game. It lists my Oregon EXE there, and we're just gonna hit the start button or the enter button on the keyboard, and voila, it launches the Oregon Trail. You could see this version is 2.1. Again, I don't know all the versions of these games, but it launches right away, and we can start playing. Now, you're gonna ask yourself, how did you get LR DOSBox Pure? Well, we're gonna go to RetroPie, menu and we're going to go to RetroPie setup once in there you're going to go to manage packages and then you're going to go to experimental packages scroll down until you find lr dos box pure and you're going to want to install that you can do it from binary uh, possibly from source i can't recall mine's already installed and then once you do that you will have that option as an emulator to choose when you launch the Oregon Trail. Now, some things to remember about the Oregon Trail, or at least uh, some helpful hints, is once you are done with a game, you hit escape twice, or when you're ready to quit for the day, you hit escape twice, and once you hit escape twice, that will allow you to save your game. Now, we are using a lib retro emulator, so technically you could use a save state in the retro arch menu but i just found it easier to save your game or your progress the normal way and here's what that looks like it comes up with a menu do you want to save your game and then please enter a name for this game just type anything in there replace existing game yes if you want to overwrite it then when you relaunch the game you just go back to travel the tr uh, trail and then it says would you like to continue a saved game yes and it'll take you to that saved game. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and good luck playing the Oregon Trail.